Hey, what's up guys? It's Scarce here, and something pretty bad happened to me the other day. I'm sure a lot of you guys have known about all these channels getting terminated and all these channels getting strikes and stuff. Well, basically, I was one of the people who got a strike, and I got community guidelines strike. It's nothing too bad. It's like the most harmless strike, but the thing is, I basically uploaded a video with GTA gameplay, like, I'm pretty sure 10 months ago or 11 months ago. I'm not really 100% sure. But I uploaded that and I put Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty in the tags. And that was mainly just because those are my default tags. Like, and those just came with the video because whenever I upload a video, I got default tags in my video. And then I got a default description, stuff like that, that just pops up on the video so I don't have to worry about it. And that time, those tags came up on the video. And it does kind of suck because I really wasn't 100% sure about that 10 months ago. I would have known about that now, about the mislink tags, because I'm much more well informed with YouTube. But I really didn't know too much about YouTube back then. I just like uploaded whatever the hell I wanted and people usually tended to enjoy my content So that was pretty awesome. But at the same time, it, it does suck that that had to happen I should take full responsibility for something like this uh, I do think it's kind of bullshit with YouTube's like terms of service Especially if you're gonna take something down that was like a year old or something It's pretty dumb. So this is the thing I'm gonna take full responsibility for this But I just want to let every single person watching this video know that you guys cannot upload any videos with misleading tags. You can't upload any giveaways or anything because they gave me a warning for my giveaway too, which was like uploaded a month ago, I think. And it's just how it goes, guys. It's just how YouTube rolls. They don't really tell you too much about their terms of service changes, but they made a few in the last couple months that have some pretty big consequences as well. So if I were you guys, I would just try to stay away from anything that's against the YouTube terms of service because as of right now, I'm pretty sure there's people going around like flagging videos down and stuff. And it does kind of suck at the same time, but it's against YouTube's terms of service, so you shouldn't be doing that in the first place. So it was my fault, and I just hope that I never have to get anything bad like that happen to me again. And it's not like it's the end of the world, because it's only one strike, it's pretty harmless, and it's going to go away in six months. So the one thing that I'm kind of pissed off about, though, is that I did... Well, I am going close to 100k, and when I hit 100k, I'm not going to be able to get that silver plaque anymore because I have a strike on my channel, which does really suck. Because that was something that I really wanted. That was like one of my big goals, like one of my major goals for this channel, and it's not going to happen anymore. So that is kind of annoying, but either way, it's my full responsibility. I shouldn't have done that stuff, and hopefully you guys don't do that stuff. Hopefully I teach you all something. Another thing I want to bring up, and this is pretty big, is a YouTube Craft server that's coming out tomorrow. So this is going to be called YouTube Craft. I literally just said it, and it's going to have a bunch of people supporting it. Phase Rain is going to be helping out. I know a couple other Phase are going to be helping out, and then there's going to be some people on Soar, and then I think I'm the only Obey member helping this out. So it's going to be a pretty big YouTube server. It's going to have like trick shotting and stuff, and just people who play Call of Duty in general. I think maybe T Martin might be helping it. There's so many big YouTubers on this, and I'm going to be one of the first people to upload the trailer and I'm going to be helping it out as well because I know the guy who created it. it's actually Keemstar which is pretty weird but it's going to be a pretty damn fun server and I know a lot of you guys are going to be like what the fuck is this shit scares you only upload Call of Duty why are you uploading Minecraft the reason why I'm uploading this is to help out a few friends it's not like I'm doing anything bad you can also use the discount code scares if you want 5% off or anything like that and that's really it for that topic I want to bring up one more thing and this is something that's been pretty big in the community the last couple days and something else happened today which not many people have been talking about so three people actually ended up faking clips for this top 100 which does suck because i was one of the people who got to pick the top 100 and i didn't pick any of these guys but i know the other people were helping out definitely did not mean to pick someone who's faking clips or something like that and if you're gonna go for phase i don't know why you would fake clips in the first place because phase has a huge fan base and people are gonna notice people are gonna expose you if you fake any clips so i'm just saying this just for all those like clip fakers and stuff out there who are trying to get in the top 100 off of it it doesn't make any sense to do that because if you do then out of nowhere you could see that people are going to expose you you're going to get a ton of shit for it and maybe if you're fake clips or you watch this video or something like that maybe i'm inspiring you to not do it anymore because there's other people who like try to get real clips and stuff and have to like wait in lobbies and stuff that are so annoying like you know those guys who take out those red guns and try their ass off to kill you and then there's these people who are in private match all day just going for like fake clips i think it's kind of stupid that's my two cents on it i guess because a lot of people have been asking me about that and trims actually came out today saying that he fake clips for the phase five recruitment challenge and he got in the top 100 which does suck Tensity and Kimbo were the other two people who did fake to get in that top 100. So that's like all the really big shit that's been going on this 
this week, and a lot of people have been talking about that. I know a lot of you guys probably know about Tensity and Kimbo, but Trim's actually literally just made an apology video today about it. And you know what? If you come out and you tell people that you did fake clips, that's whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Honestly, the whole thing doesn't matter to me. I'm just saying if you do it, then there's going to be someone out there who's going to expose you. It's just 100% that's going to happen, and that's my personal opinion on the whole thing. Let me hear what you guys think. Also, you can leave a comment down below on what you think would give you a strike because I know there's a lot of people out there who aren't too sure if one of their videos is going to give them a strike or not, and I'll be sure to tell you if that video is going to give you a strike or something like that. Also, you guys can check out my previous video and my mystery video on the screen. You can leave a like if you enjoyed, and you can subscribe if you're new. I'll see you later. Peace.